embarrassing. Cut! Welcome to Social Distancing Together. I'm Kyle. I'm Phil. And we are on episode 12. Just th three weeks ago, it, we are on episode 9. I know. It's how time flies. Look at me now, Mom. And me. Kyle's Mom. Do you want to give her a shout-out? No. Okay. You know who we should give a shout-out? A shout-out to my mother-in-law, Julie, who says last week she enjoyed the shout-out we gave her. And this week we enjoyed the praise that you gave the shout-out that you gave us. Okay, let's move to our Bible verse. Uh, this week we have uh, Philippians 4.13, which is a fairly popular verse. Uh, it reads, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Now, this specific verse is um, the New American Standard Bible version. And a lot of times this verse has been translated like this. But um, people watching know that we do talk a lot about context and what is the context. The verses before this, Paul is talking about specific struggles. And translators are now starting to translate this a little bit different. They're translating it, I can do all of this through him who gives me strength. Hmm. So it's not, it's not saying that, um, you know, I can pass a test and fly or I can do anything through Christ. It's I can get through the situation with Christ. I can overcome these obstacles with Jesus. Just a little translation fun because this week we're going to be talking about um, misleading movie descriptions. So we're calling it bad movie descriptions. I've picked out five movies. So have I. We picked out the movies from the top 250 movies on IMDb. I have to find mine. I don't know where I put them. I have mine here. Don't look at my phone. Don't look at my phone. Don't look at my phone. So we're going to read the movie descriptions that each of us have come up with for these five movies and see if the other person can guess which movie they are. The first movie I have. This is a pretty easy one. Okay, Kyle? Okay. Accidental kidnappers try to return a child back home. Is that Monsters, Inc.? It is. First guess. Wow. Yeah. Nice. All right. Here's my first one. Okay. An odd couple flees the government in fear that their new discovery will be destroyed. What? Oh, I'm going to be really bad at this. We're going to give each other two guesses before we say... Well, so if he guesses wrong, I'll say no. I feel like you guessed Monsters, Inc., so... So... Uh... Is it Monsters, Inc.? It's Monsters, Inc. <laughs> I was going to say, you guessed mine so easily because you, you, you picked Monsters, Inc. Yeah. Well. Okay. Uh, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. An actor leaves a long-running TV show. The Truman Show. Yeah. I probably used the show and then I shouldn't have used the word show. It's tricky. Uh, my next one is an amputee and a man who has trouble verbalizing put aside their differences to come together and liberate those with no power. You can think for a while, because I can cut out all the thinking time. But sometimes, like, the, we got, like, good, some good stuff during the thinking time. Yeah, well, I can, I, I won't cut yeah. that part out if we have a good conversation during the thinking time. Is it one of the Star Wars? No. No, okay. Man has trouble verbalizing. See, that's why that was Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> no. Is it Toy Story? No. Oh. Okay, what is it? Mad Max Fury Road. Oh! Yeah. No, that works. I was going to use that one, too. And I was going to say, unlikely acquaintances go on a road trip. Uh, my next one is this. A man's job takes him all around the city to dismantle recalled machinery. Recalled. Mm -hmm. That part messes me up. Because I had an idea, but then I... Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll guess my, my initial thought. Okay. Is it um, Batman, uh, The Dark Knight Rises? Incorrect. It's so good in the first two. <laughs> this is a good one. Because I don't know what it is. Uh, Lord of the Rings, Two Towers. Nope. It was Blade Runner. Blade Runner. I've never seen Blade Runner. Oh, that makes sense why you didn't get it. My next one is... A hero travels around making friend, friends along the way to recover an ancient artifact. Okay. Okay, I'll say my initial guess. Uh, Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. No, but this, <laughs> this is the one where I said, 
It's multiple, and then I was going to do Indiana Jones uh, okay. with the same. So it can't be Lord of the Rings, because they're trying to destroy a lost artifact. Um, I gotta say, I don't think you're going to get this one correct. You don't think I'm going to no. get it correct? I do not have high hopes for you. Do you think I've seen it, though? Yeah. I can only think of movies that don't fit at all. I keep wanting to say Shrek, but I don't think that's on the list. Is it Shrek? It's not Shrek. <laughs> It's Monty Python and the oh, Holy Grail. I, I saw that one there, too. I mean, and they're literally surging for the same thing as Indiana yeah, Jones. Yeah, that's true. My fourth one, Kyle, you ready? What? You ready for my fourth one? Fourth what? Fourth movie. Oh! I'm guessing movies. Welcome back. <laughs> a child fleeing from his evil uncle is taken in by a couple of hippies. Okay, so originally my first thought went to like Harry Potter. But he's not really fleeing his uncle in that one. Then we have... Star Wars, but he's, but he's not fleeing his uncle again. Uncle Owen? He's not, uncle Owen's dead, and the people that he meet, meets up with aren't hippies. Obi-Wan maybe, but Han Solo's not a hippie. He's an herder. Chewbacca might be a hippie, he doesn't wear sandals. This is hard. I feel like this is a... Uh, Lion King. Oh, you got it! <laughs> Wife plays prank on husband. I don't think you're going to get this one. <laughs> Wife plays prank on husband. <laughs> My first thought was, was The Shining. I don't know if she's playing a prank on him at all. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that prank, <laughs> I'm using prank in a very uh, liberal way. Okay, yeah, I figured. <laughs> if it's that movie, then I'm going to have an issue with you. <laughs> but I don't think it is. I think it is. Is it Shawshank Redemption? No, no. <laughs> Princess Bride? No, it's Gone Girl. Gone Girl. I haven't seen it. Oh, okay. But I know the gist of it. Oh, the gist is a the wife plays a prank. <laughs> the gist is, yeah, yeah. Now I know the gist. It's cool. Now I don't need to see the movie because I have your description of it. It's a good movie, but it's definitely uh, not age appropriate for everyone. You ready for my last one? I am ready. I want to make it like just a blind guess. This is going to be, do you want to guess before I say it? The, was it the, will it count as one of my two? Yes. I do think you'll probably get it with one guess. Okay. So you can waste a guess now if you want. Is it Inception? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle's really good at this game. My description was a man sleeps on his flight and then makes a big business decision. I don't think I would have got that. <laughs> I don't need any description. Well, you ruined mine, so uh, you can do your last one. A retiree puts back on their uniform in hopes to make things right in their hometown once again. I don't think this movie should be on the top 250. Could be a superhero movie. Batman's not retired. I don't think it's Batman. Uh, oh! Is it the Princess Bride? No. Oh, he's a farm boy. He becomes a pirate. Retires from being a pirate. Returns home. But he's not really putting on a uniform. But you keep guessing Princess Bride. It applies. <laughs> are you going to guess or are you going <laughs> to... I got distracted by my... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get it. I'm gonna, I'm, we can, yeah. We're going to wait here all day until I get it. Because I'm going to get it. Well, I, I have something at seven, so... Okay. Me too. Did you just keep a straight face when I was speculating about Batman before? I did. But did you need to keep a straight face? Because it was Batman. Is it Batman? Begins? Not Begins. The Dark Knight? The Dark Knight Rises. The dark, that's on the list? Yeah. I said, I don't think it belongs on the list. Oh, Monsters, Inc. is such a good movie. I'm going to watch that this week, I think. Let us know if you which ones you guessed right or guessed wrong. If you beat Phil, you can get a real-life prize. How many, how many did you get right? You got... I think you got Monsters, Inc. And that was the one that I also came up with, got, so... I was already thinking about it. I mean, you almost got Batman. <laughs> well, let's say if you beat me, you get a real life prize. If you beat Kyle, let us know, and uh, you'll get a real life prize. I said Batman. <laughs> First season Batman, then Batman Begins, and Dark Knight. I didn't think Dark Knight Rises was on the list. I didn't think it was on the list. I am the League of Shadows. So that's been a uh, bad movie description. And if you have blogs, bumbles, or borderline insults, you can send them to me 
at my email or at me on Instagram. At me, bro. Don't at me, but actually at me. You can do a really good Bane impression with a mug. Hmm. I don't have a mug. They're expecting one of us in the wreckage, brother. You look like a bird. I can't believe you guessed Inception before I did. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time. Well, you'll see us next time. We won't see you. What have you done? It broke.